Well guys, I replaced the fan on my laptop. Um, there's the old fan there. She was pretty, pretty dusty. Okay. Huge amount of dust. And the actual fins... Oh, the actual fins where the uh, air comes through, like it's sucked in through the bottom vent and come out through there. In between the fan and those vents, this is what was clogging it. Like dust, cat hair, dog hair, probably some of my hair. <laughs> so it's a good thing I did that. But I pulled an absolute stupid. And I actually had to take it all apart again. I got it all apart, then back together, no extra screws left over, nothing like that. But what I forgot to do was plug in the new fan. <laughs> so I had to take it all apart and put it back together. Duh. <laughs> but... I know some of you wanted, uh, I know somebody really wanted a video on uh, putting it, taking it apart and putting it all back together. So I'm actually going to buzz through right now on how to do it because it's like really a 15 minute job. Like, well, for me anyway, because I've done it so many times with this stupid thing, something to do. I just had to take it apart and see how it worked one day. So you guys can, uh, you guys can watch this uh, the rest of this video on how to take it apart and put it back together. Um, if not, end the video now. Cheers. Alrighty. Let's uh, do a full teardown. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Okay, this is a full teardown of a Inspiron 1420. Hope you guys are okay seeing this. So, let's get this uh, shut down here. Okay, we're shut down. Just going to adjust the camera a little bit here. Okay, so first things first, get this battery pack out of here. Now, there's three screws. Well, it, you can just go around, take all, all the screws out. First, what I like to do is take the DVD drive out one screw so it's just the one screw that holds that in just grab a hold of the bottom slides right out oh, we'll put those two together across the table there now what we're gonna do is just go around Leave these two screws in temporary, okay? We'll just grab every screw you can find on the bottom. Okay, so... Okay, what we're going to do now is just uh, grab the hard drive door, the memory door, and the CPU and heat sink door. Stone. Okay, let's grab the hard drive out, just pull up on that, done, put that aside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take all the outside, this, the, there's two screws on the bottom here and here, like on the back and the bottom, leave those in for now, okay, we're just going to take the exterior screws out, okay, all the holes. Okay, now there's three screws along the bottom of the battery door. One, two, three. Get 
them out. There's one. Two. And three. Oop. Just gonna adjust the camera. Okay, so these screws here for the bottom of the battery, I just put in the groove of my table here. Um, next, um, there's a little, uh, I can't remember what this one is, but uh, one screw right here. Make sure that comes out. And we'll put that on the first side of the battery, because they're the same size screws, so it doesn't matter if you mix it up. Okay, and this pops right up. Voila, that's loose. You don't have to take your memory module out, that's fine. Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, take the LCD uh, uh, screws out. So it's just a matter of this one. So that's our LCD screws. Now what I do is just, I'm just going to flip this over and all my screws will pop out. Probably help if you put a towel down so they don't go everywhere, but I know I'm okay. And we'll just make sure all of them come out. Nope, missed one. There we go. Okay, now there's all our base screws just at the top here. Hope you can see. Right there. Now we're just going to flip it over. We'll open it up. And grab a hold of this little tab right here. The button bar. Just wiggle them back and forth until that pops out. Good to go. Now there's two screws that hold the uh, keyboard down. One and two. I just grab a hold of those two bars and pull up. There we go. And slide it forward. And you'll see this ribbon cable here. Now it's just a little blue tab. You push it up. Voila. And that'll pop right out. Now I'm just going to take the two uh, screws, put this upside down, and put the screws on top of that. Beautiful. Okay, now there's a little tab here, you pull up and pull that LCD screen off, these will just pop right out, both sides, you can just put your thumb under there and pop that off. Now there's the button bar, it's easy if you just unscrew that. And that just kind of slides over like so and that'll pull right out of the way now you want to unplug your Wi-Fi like so the non-connected wire a couple other non-connected wires that's that and your LCD screen right out. That's that. Alrighty. Now all we have to do is unplug this here. That's that one. 
another plug over here. That's that. And there's two screws right underneath where the LCD was. Like so. And another one here. And that's that. Oop. Pretty simple. Put that off to the side. And now, I believe it was this screw here. You'll see this line, this uh, connect connection here. Right in front of that, you just undo this screw. Basically the motherboard's in two pieces at this part. So we're going to be separating those two pieces. Now it might take a bit of uh, effort to begin with, okay? Mine's been apart many times, so it'll pop up easy. But it will take a bit of effort. So it's easier if you just put two nails underneath that, two fingernails underneath that, and pop it up. Done. Okay, you see how that popped up nice and easy? Alrighty. So now, we got one screw left over here in the corner. The very corner of the motherboard. Pull that out. And that is that. I just need a bit of a wiggle. We got one connection, one connection right here. Voila. Another connection here. Sweet. And then I've got, I've got this wire here. This actually goes to a. Um, Bluetooth connection, but I don't have Bluetooth in this, so and that's it. And to do the fan, it's just one, two, three screws, right? And it does have a little plastic, a little plastic piece that sticks out. That's kind of a pain in the butt to get in this piece here, but. What you can do is just undo the four screws to your CPU, but make sure you have a thermal paste because you'll have to re-clean it and re-thermal paste it. Um, so just take your fan out, take your clean out your uh, vents, and you'll be good to go. But that's all that's to it. It's very very simple. So what I'm gonna do, be doing now is a little bit of cleaning. I am going to clean all the dust out of this just for something to do. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, so I did a bit of dusting. You know, cleaned off the dust from the speakers and stuff like that. And I cleaned a lot off of the motherboard, both sides. Just took it a... Uh, soft bristle this is actually hard bristle so I just kind of went sideways a little bit and uh, cleaned out cleaned off everything I could all inside nice and lightly tooth really soft toothbrush will work great but should be running a lot uh, cooler now at least I don't have to worry about the grinding any anymore that I had Oop. I'm doing things backwards. Here we go. I've got to get my non Bluetooth cable back in here. Like so. This cable up here. Just wiggle it all back together. Make sure the wires are out that you got to plug back in. 
like so. And that goes in nice and easy now. As I said, it'll feel like you're going to break it pulling it apart, but when it comes apart for the first time, it's a little on the tough side. Okay, so... Oh, am I missing one down there? No cord? don't think so. Just in case, I'll check. Nope, okay. Beauty. Okay. I'll plug their plugs back in. Make sure they're connected in really good. Voila. That's all together. Let's put those two screws back in. Yep, I know how to do this on my laptop because basically if I can't, if I have to buy it and not build it, I usually take it apart to see how it works. <laughs> Just a habit. Alrighty, so everything's pretty basic and simple going back together, but... You guys pretty much get the right idea. And this is the one that I couldn't figure out when I first took it apart. That one there, that one really screwed me up. But we got her figured out. stuff and put it back together there's our button bar I'll wait to put the button bar because we have to uh, put the LCD wires through it well the, the Wi-Fi wires so let's plug that back in it's nice and tight plug this one back in So, alrighty, that looks good there, now we take our LCD screen, put it in like so, raise our button bar up, and our wires underneath. Backwards on me here. So, voila. This one's unused. Uh, we gotta get this right here. Wi-Fi. Come on. Plugs are a little tedious to get in because they're so small. Take your time. Yeah, a lot of you might uh, be a little worried about taking it apart and stuff. Well, 
I don't know. How are you going to learn if you don't? Me, I have to take apart everything. Uh, just not right owning something that you wouldn't be able to fix yourself. There we go. That goes in so like so. These ones are out of the way. Beauty, we can put our button bar in now. So remember, it just you push it all down and slide it over because there's like little notches that it goes underneath. And they're a little pain in the butt to get into. So it's got to be nice and flush. There we go. Match up the screw there. So like so, take your LCD and it's just a plug in. Like so. Sure, it's down nice. Just flip that forward. I'm not sure if it locks it or not. And then these, they just snap into place like so. And like, Oop. come on, don't be a meanie. Like so. Hear the snap they're in. Alrighty. Whoops. Almost lost that. Okay, now we got our ribbon cable for our keyboard. That just goes in there. Camera in my way, just one second. It's hard to do working behind the camera. Make sure that's flipped up. Good. Throw that back down. The keyboard screws. Oops. Can't do that yet. I forgot a screw. You guys didn't remind me. I forgot two motherboard screws. Well, not motherboard screws, but I forgot these two screws here. Yeah, some of you might want to you know, write down your screws, you know. Lay out a piece of paper and put down what they are and where they're from. Okay, that's that. Uh, two keyboard screws. place real good done now just put our button 
bar back in, it pops into place. Beauty. Close that up. We'll flip it over. There are three screws for the under the battery. Rock and roll. Now we're going to do our LCD screen. Rock and roll. And we'll put our doors on. What the hell? Can even slap our hard drive in if you want. off my DVD drive slide that in one screw holds that in now it's just a matter of plugging in screws Okay, we'll put our battery back in. Yeah, I know it's an old machine and XP. <laughs> Beauty. Oop. Go to Internet Explorer Chrome. Yeah, it's still starting up. <laughs> For you who remember XP. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll go to YouTube. And we'll test out our buttons. Redneck Rickum. There we go. Sweet. Volume's working. Where right, let's go. But walk off the earth. Volume buttons are working. <laughs> Alrighty guys.
Okay, so that's a uh, tear down and rebuild of a Inspiron 1420. Okay, take care, guys.